So hello everyone, welcome to ISBR's official YouTube channel and today we are again here with another video series of Expert Matters. So we have Gaurav amongst us. Hello Gaurav, welcome to our series. Hi to all the viewers watching this channel, welcome, a pleasure to be here. So let me just quickly give his introduction. So Gaurav is a seasoned professional with over 13 years of experience ranging across the spectrum of marketing. He is proficient in creating brand and leading generation strategy for businesses. He's a corporate mentor and guest trainer at various B schools. He's a brand management and communication specialist from MICA, Ahmedabad. So Gaurav will talk about storytelling and business. So Gaurav, my first question to you will be, what is storytelling in business? Uh, we need to understand something that since ages, mm -hmm. human beings have felt the need to communicate. Now in business, it's no different because you might be at one side of the fence as a seller or the other side of the fence as a buyer, or you can be part of the ecosystem maybe like a supplier, vendor, distributor, consumers, influencer. So you can be playing any role in this whole value chain of the business. Now, when that is the case, how do each component interacts with the other? Over there, one is a transactional level communication in which we just simply pass on the information that we have done this business transaction, now you act on it. Other person says, I have done the business transaction, now you act on it. So that's where the cycle goes. However, we have felt that many a times there are a lot of communication gaps. Because of miscommunication, this cycle is deeply and adversely impacted. Also, we have seen, and I'm sure you must be aware that teamwork, everyone coming together and working as a team gives better results. Now, if you have to work as a team and all the ecosystem players have to come together, then what is that they need to do? And there we realized and we have in fact uh, uh, derived from various studies and uh, field studies which have been done in the past that storytelling comes out to be a very effective tool. Now storytelling till now has been uh, mainly a form of entertainment or a tool for entertainment for human beings and mankind uh, to keep us engaged. But we have seen if we translate that storytelling in business context, it delivers equally stupendous results. So what is storytelling in businesses? when I try to put across the same message for the business transaction in the context of a plot where there are defined characters who are interacting with each other, there is a twist in the tale and finally story is ending with a defined result. Let me give an example. If I were to propose say an robot or robotic based uh, scanning system at airport, then how do I pitch it? to the airport authorities or to that extent, maybe aviation ministry. So I am the manufacturer and what I would like to do is I will create a small story, a plot where I would say Rohan is going on a business trip from Bangalore to Delhi. He arrives at uh, Bangalore's Kempegora International Airport. Over there, he finds there's a long queue and because there are COVID protocols in place, he realizes it's going to take a long time. Now he's a business traveler. Usually business travelers travel on short notice. Plus many a times they are in a hurry because they are attending meetings on the go. At this moment, a manual uh, security scanning system may be definitely dampening his spirits also causing inadvertent delay, which he may not be very happy with. And overall experience becomes very broken and it's not seamless at all. But if you have a robotic, or AI based scanning system, it will have the feature to ensure that a certain number of people are scanned within time, their reports are generated and they are given a free pass without much hassles. Now we are using the technology and we say Rohan comes to the airport, he uh, arrives at the airport, he gets to know. So we start the story from Rohan gets to know four hours before there is a meeting which he has to attend in Delhi. Bangalore airport is at the outskirts, he travels, he reaches the airport, which is just one hour, 15 minutes before the flight departure. Over there, he sees there's a long queue, which is definitely going to take half an hour. Now there are just 45 minutes before uh, the flight departure is there. Boarding gates close 30 minutes at the max. 15 minutes, there's no way he can clear the security uh, queue, secure security check. Over there, 
a system or a provision like a uh, automated or robotic based scanning system comes into effect and it is very conducive for such kind of travelers and it ensures that it is able to pass at least 30 travelers in just a matter of 1 minute whether it's lightning speed scanning system and report generation happening concurrently a person like rohan is able to pass through it and is able to save another 10 minutes before he reaches the boarding gates he is relaxed at the same time he can continue to focus and check his ipad look into meetings and safely board the flight uh, conforming to all the protocols as prescribed by the airlines now for such kind of niche audience these kinds of automated systems come into handy also it gives uh, an airport authorities to save a lot of money which they spend on labor intensive security check process because so many crpf professionals or employees are deployed cisf not simply cisf professionals are deployed their salary their accommodation their perks amount to a lot of expenditure to the government and airport authorities but this one time capital expenditure on this can save them the cost for next 5 years with maybe 3 years or 5 years of upgrade and maintenance wow this is a beautiful proposition as a buyer i relate to it better than looking into a catalog which is plain and talking to me in a tech language or just mundane or vanilla bullet points so therefore storytelling in all the context not just this in manufacturing banking healthcare retail helps us demystify the whole concept like a story articulate the benefit and define the players how each ecosystem player is going to benefit out of it and therefore the transactions happen more seamlessly between a buyer and a seller and yes everyone is happy and uh, the transaction continues right that's actually really interesting everybody should learn storytelling in business because as you explained it is sounds really interesting it in my mind i developed a story so it's really very interesting and amazing strategy for business transactions and business dealing So, uh, Gaurav, how can one develop skills for storytelling? All right. So, uh, first of all, is that we need to believe in the power of communication. Mm -hmm. So, if you have to develop skills, you need to have visualization. As Shruti, you just said, right? You were able to visualize. So, you need to able to connect the dots and visualize. We need to get into the habit of translating each business problem or statement into story. which can be easily done because business statement is already uh, specified many a times we now the next thing is we need to understand what is the client problem or the client issue right. and that client issue is my main plot which i have to solve through the story so the skills which might be required over there is uh, visualization which is imagining imagination power second is able to crystallize it into short sentences calling this is the problem statement this is the place where it's happening this is the time this is the month this is the whole length of the cycle of the business transaction these are the players then we also have to be able to translate our knowledge of defining the buyer persona mm -hmm. who is the buyer persona is he a vice president of a company is he a manager of the company is he the engineer of a company then seller's persona is he a shopkeeper uh, who is selling is he a sales person or is he a consultant so we need to be able to define that and for that you need to have some analytical skills and critical thinking skills so critical thinking analytical skills combined with visual power helps us give a definite shape to the story but there are two more ang angles to it which are data so first is data where we need to be able to put in numbers which help us give a, pro a, a proper shape to a story so you should be able to analyze the reports which are given to you take up the data through your inference and interpretation skills and put in your story for example that rohan a 38 year old person traveling from bangalore to delhi is going for a deal worth say 10 million dollars and the deal is say uh, you know has to be done and closed in next two days and therefore this meeting is very important for him and so many people like him professionals who are in bangalore say more than 10 million or so then is a huge number maybe say um 10 lakh this is such an important opportunity that uh, airports provide them a seamless experience to travel therefore it becomes very vital for our industry especially uh, medium and small uh, small and medium business enterprises therefore we should be able to translate that data and finally the ability to 
articulate and summarize the business results many time we define the story but in then we have to as we say right what is the moral of the story right. what is the take away of the story right. so that we should be able to summarize so yeah these are the skills visualization uh uh communication skills which include writing and uh, speaking of course third is uh, data fourth is able to uh, ability to articulate which is very important and critical and analytical thinking this are the key skills required for storytelling in business right so everybody needs to develop it if they want to learn storytelling in business okay so how is it beneficial for management students to learn management students it is beneficial because at this point of time all businesses are suffering from the problem of uh, markets being saturated or there being too much clutter in the market mm-hmm. so what happens is if you as a ambassador of your business is able to talk to clients in very layman terms still ensuring that you are able to talk his language or her language then you have hit the right nail and clients are very appreciative of such kind of uh, uh, message being given to them a lot of times clients complain that we do not understand what is the value proposition many times they are not able to differentiate when there is a deal on the table what a is offering what b is offering what c is offering so over there storytelling eases out the whole transaction makes client comfortable and at the same time being managers being management professionals it puts you in the right spot makes you look smarter and at the same time remember it is not just about putting across the message it is about connecting with the audience which is a very important skill for management students so therefore for management students to i would say shine in front of clients and in their <clears throat> company and in their respective roles uh they can definitely benefit from storytelling in business gaurav according to just what you explain and uh, told about storytelling in business it makes me want to feel like want to pursue storytelling in business i want to develop all the skills it is it has convinced me throughout so lastly we have come up to the end of the video so one line of motivation for everybody mm-hmm. listening to this video including me yeah so my one strong message which goes out to all of you is please 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 do not templateize yourself into any kind of uh, format for even for storytelling or for any uh, business problem you attend do not templateize yourself industry badly needs corporate professionals young management professionals who can think out of the box and make their own uh, or you can say way of approaching and tackling a problem so even if it's a storytelling remember there are no cookie cutter solutions take it like an approach where you understand the problem statement define the scenario landscape define the characters what is the problem statement twist in the tail how to articulate the business and you might be better than several other things which have been done in the past right. and i'm sure all of you have potential to do that so that's my message goes out to you please do not confine yourself in boundaries think out of the box and you will do magic oh my god that was an inspiration thank you so much for giving us time to record that video thank you so much for having me for letting me take your interview it was a pleasure taking your interview thank you so much gaurav thank you so much for making time for this thank you shruti thank you isbr and entire student community and the young managers watching this good luck to you keep rising keep shining Thank you so much Gaurav we'll see you soon thank you so much again have a great day ahead take care see you